We are taking the chapter number two, which is nutrition in animals. So we'll be taking the question and answers on nutrition in animals. First is fill in the blanks. The main steps of nutrition in humans are we start from ingestion to ejection. So this is ingestion, digestion, absorption, assimilation, and ejection. The largest gland in human body is liver, is liver, largest gland. The stomach releases hydrochloric acid and juices which act on food. So what are these uh, juices? These are digestive juices. The inner wall of small intestine has many fiber-like outgrowths. We call them as villi, villi. Amoeba digests its food in the dash, food vacuolo. So vacuole, you can say, vac these are pronunciations of food, food vacuole. True and false. Digestion of starch start in stomach and this is false. The tongue helps in mixing saliva with uh, food with saliva. This is true because this saliva has digestive enzymes and that will help us to digest the food properly. The gallbladder temporarily stores bile. This is true. And the ruminants bring back swallowed grass into their mouth and chew it for some time. You might have seen goat, you have, might have seen the cow and buffalo. So they first slow, swallow the grass and after some time they take it out and then they chew it. So this is, this will term as true. Tick mark the correct answer in each of the following. Fat is completely digested in where? The answer is small intestine. Water from the undigested food is absorbed mainly in the large intestine. Imagine the following. So carbohydrates goes with sugar, proteins go with amino acids and fats goes with fatty acids and glycerol. So this is how we match. What are really? What is their location and function? See if we talk about uh, small intestine, the inner walls of the small intestine has thousands of finger like outgrowths and these are called singular villus. In short we call it as villi. This villi increases the surface area of absorption of digested food. So this villus, each villus has a network and has a network of thin and small blood vessels which is close to its surface. So the surface of villi absorbs the digested food material and this is how it's, it becomes very important as far as digestion is concerned. Where is the bile produced? Which component of food does it help to digest? Liver which is the largest gland in human body, largest uh, gland. This liver secretes bile juice that is stored in sac, a sac which is called as a gallbladder. So this bile helps in the digestion of fats. Name the type of carbohydrate that can be digested by ruminants but not by humans. Give the reason also. So this hydro, the carbohydrate is cellulose. The cellulose which is a type of carbohydrate can be digested by ruminants but not by us humans because the ruminants have a large sac like structure. We call it as rumen. And this is between esophagus and the small intestine. So the cellulose of the food is digested here by the action of uh, certain bacteria which are not present in humans. Why do we get instant energy from glucose? You might have seen players, they are taking glucose in between. Why? They want instant energy. So in the cells, the glucose breaks down in with the, just with the help of oxygen into CO2 and water and it releases energy. So instant energy releases there with glucose. Which part of the digestive canal is involved in absorption of food? This is small intestine, chewing of food, you can say mouth, you can also say buccal cavity, killing of bacteria, stomach, complete digestion of food, small intestine and formation of feces that is the excreta is large intestine. Write one similarity and one difference between the nutrition in amoeba and human beings. So there are similarities also, there are difference also. Let us talk about the similarity first. The basic idea of or process of digestion of food and release of energy is same. 
whether it be amoeba or human beings. So in amoeba, digestive food, these juices are secreted into the food vacuole. They act as food and break it into very simpler substances and then the digestive food is absorbed. In the same way, the human beings also have digestive juices, they come from mouth, stomach and intestine. They work on food, they act on food and again it, they, in the similar way, they break it down to similar substances that can be easily digested. But there are certain differences also. The differences are, the digestion, digestion process in amoeba is very simple. But in human beings, as you see, various uh, organs are involved, so it's, called, it's uh, quite a complex process. The process of ingestion and ejection is also very different. Amoeba does what? It engulfs its food by surrounding the food particle with the pseudopodia. The undigested food which is largely CO2 carbon dioxide gas is expelled outside by the vacuolo. What happens in human beings? The food which is very complex substance is uh, ingested or taken in, uh, through the mouth and it undergoes a complex process of digestion and absorption. And then finally the undigested food, it goes out in the form of feces excreta. Let us match these one with two. So salivary, salivary gland produces saliva, so it goes with saliva secretion. Stomach with uh, acid release. Liver with bile juice secretion. The rectum with release of feces. Small intestine, the, here the digestion is complete. A large intestine, here we have absorption of water. And you can say storage of undigested food also is done in largest intestine only. So this is a figure you have to label it. So let us uh, go one by one. This one is the gallbladder. This hole is the liver. This is your stomach. These are your pancreas. These are this hole is your small intestine. This bigger one is your large intestine. This is your rectum and finally this is your anus from where the excreta come out. Can we survive only on raw leafy vegetable grass discuss? No, we cannot. We can live for some time but there is a problem. What? The leafy vegetables or grass, they are rich in cellulose. That is, that is a type of carbohydrate. So various animals including human cannot digest cellulose. We are not able to digest because we don't have that enzymes and those friendly bacteria that are going to digest cellulose for us. So we can't just survive on vegetable in raw form. That is why we, we boil and cook vegetable, boil and cook vegetable so that the carbohydrates are broken into cellulose or so you can say uh, the cellulose is broken down into simple carbohydrates. Let me rephrase it. So cellulose can not be digested, but if it is boiled or cooked, they are broken into simple carbohydrates. So we can only survive by taking vegetables in boiled or cooked form. So this is all about the questions on nutrition in animals. Thank you so much and take care of yourself. हमको ये